Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to defend uh, on Icebox from a lot of good spots, uh, but before we get started, please join my Discord, uh, follow my Twitch, and if you guys want coaching, it's in the description below. Basically, my Discord, if you guys join, I can, I can answer you guys' question on Discord whenever I have free time, which is a lot, so um, without, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so basically, we're going to start with the aggressive spots on defense first. This doesn't mean you should always play these, but... If you do want to play aggressive, then this is where you can go. So basically, uh, when you walk up here, you see that there's this angle and there's this angle. So you kind of want to be careful about this. Um, you can either, I usually try to walk up here. If I don't hear anyone over here, and I do hear some people over here, um, you can either just come over here and try to like cross. This is called um, prison, I believe, or jail, I think. So, cause there's like this thing right here. Um, so you kind of just sit here, wait, you can get the kill. Um, and then you can try to fight people over here as well. Or if if you want to, because a lot of time you'll, you'll hear people come here and here. So I usually just try to fight over here, because if you can fight over here, especially as Reyna. I know someone wanted me to, to make a guide on Icebox uh, as Reyna. So if you can just come up here, get the kill on defense. It doesn't really matter if there's people over here. You can just E all the way back to like right here. And then you're completely safe because, you know, they, they can't really do anything unless, uh, you know, unless they catch you like great. Right, as you're crossing here, but you always have flash to work with stuff like that. So otherwise, um, you know, we can we can make it all the way up here and walk. If we don't see anyone. We can always see if there's anyone over here, and then from here we can either fast flank or just rotate away because again, you're probably gonna be playing against some kind of sentinel, so be careful about that. So continuing on here, coming back. So th those are the most aggressive ways. Actually, there's one more aggressive way we can play. So there's a barrier um, right here. Uh, if you jump. We can actually make it all the way over to nest. So basically what this looks like, as soon as the round starts, there's gonna be a barrier like right here and right here blocking. So as soon as the round starts, you jump, hit F as soon as the barrier detaches. And whenever you do this, you wanna make sure that you go fast for a little bit and then start slowing down. So try to go, try to slow down when I start slowing down here. Like right about here, cause then no one can see you, but they also won't be able to hear you. And then if you do it properly, uh, you'll be able to have crossed here and no one will be looking at you. And this is a perfect play for trigger discipline. Sometimes people will be looking at you. Sometimes people will always clear it. Sometimes if they did hear you, they'll spam you through this. So if they're spamming this, you probably want to try to get out because that means that you made too much noise. Uh, another aggressive way that we can play is as soon as the round starts again, just jump up like this, drop. Then we can come over like this. You'll see a lot of duelists peek from right here. so. Um, you can also just jump up here and fight like this, but, uh, yeah, so that's, those are the, probably the most aggressive ways you can play. Another cool trick you can do is, whenever you're right here, you can jump like this. A lot of people don't know this, so, uh, whenever you want to rotate out of, uh, A, or if you want to, like, flank, instead of going lower, you can actually get on the rope and do this, and people don't really expect this. You can do this really fast, like, at the start of the round. And if the enemies aren't here, you could just get away with this. So like the round starts. You're over. Like you obviously want to be paying attention, have your gun out and stuff. And you can usually get some kills like right here. People sometimes will go B entirely. A lot of time though, people will go A on this map. That's something I did want to emphasize is that uh, going A on icebox is like, well, like very, very common. Um, it's just kind of how it is. Cause sometimes the B is just harder to take. So Continuing, this is one of my favorite spots. So there's these little yeah. things you can jump on here. And so what this looks like from the enemy perspective is if they're jumping up here on pipes, like so, then you see right here, this is what it looks like. So as they're midair, as they're midair, like right here, you see, yeah. this is where I would be. As, as they're, as you're jumping, they're fully, or as, as you're watching, they're fully jumping by the time that you can first see them, meaning that you can kill them before they even have a chance to actually kill you because obviously mid jumping, bullets are not gonna go straight. So you just kinda have to place crosshair like right here-ish and kinda get used to what it's like when an enemy jumps from there. So just be aware of that. Uh, this spot's really good. You can dismiss back to all the way about right here. Um, so continuing on, one of my other favorite spots here is gonna be, uh, this is called 410 or um, some people call it uh, elbow or like I don't know I think someone called it K and G but that's really weird it's usually just called 410 uh, or maze maze is one maze or 410 so you just sit close here you can also peek from like this um, or you can peek from back here 
hold like a really tight angle like this. Um, I like doing, I like sitting like on this with like a shorty or something sometimes, but um, again, you don't have to, you have to be careful of up here, people can head glitch. So another really nice spot to sit, which a lot of you probably know about is this head glitch. You can actually crouch and people won't be able to see you. And then after you hear them, you can like um, come up or you can just hold from the beginning. You can even come up here like this. Uh, but be careful like a jet updraft or you know just a duelist that's on, on Adderall so um, Other spots now are moving in even farther back so a lot of time on this on this site You'll want to play farther back just because you're getting steamrolled um, so This spot right here is good, but people do clear this if, it, if you get mollied you're kind of screwed again you can throw flashes, but um, So we can watch right here. We can always dismiss back to site or back to back site can hold like this, like this. Uh, this spot's like a one and done for me usually. I don't, sometimes I don't even play it. Um, you can also play back sight. Back sight is really valuable, uh, but there's other spots I wanna talk about. Um, so we can't get over here with the rope, but I actually can't do it because I'm bad. Um, and if you're jet, you can just you glide across up here as well. So you just need to crouch. And then here, usually there's like a viper wall. So you can just kind of sit here and chill, wait. And as they're up here, uh, you can just kill them. And this is really free. Again, this is kind of like a one and done, or maybe like two rounds you can play it, something like that. So another really cool spot is gonna be back here. So this angle is really dirty. Um, I think you can, what am I thinking? I think maybe like right here you can catch people, which is actually kind of nuts to be honest. Um, this is not something that I do a lot unless people are going like uh, belt every single round, but yeah. So yeah, playing up here is also obviously pretty good. You can hold 410, you can hold pipes, you can hold nest. Um, holding from up here is also good. If you're opping, if you're just wanting to fight. Um, there's a lot of angles you could look at though, so be careful of that. You can also come over here, waiting for someone to jump here, here, or here. And yeah, this kind of concludes uh, the defense site, or the site. Um, again, back site, you can set screens. Screens is kind of passive. It's like if you're rotating to be. Next, we're going to be talking about mid. So mid, um, you can come right up here. And this is what I like to do a lot of the time. So obviously, a lot of people like to sit boiler. But for me, I like to play a little more kind of in their face. So I don't I don't necessarily like peek and hold this because I know that there's a lot of stuff that can go down in mid. Like people can just fast push. Sometimes this gets volley or, or viper orbed. Um, so if I hear one, I'll kind of peek like this, see if they're trying to go. I, I don't want them to have access to tube, especially if you don't have a sage. So if they go here and I see them cross into tube, I'll tell my team. But otherwise I can like cross here, fight. We can rotate to B from here. Can hold the rotate here, which is really strong. Um, there's also this box to defend from. I don't ever play this, but it's something to keep in mind. So next we have boiler, of course. So we play like a head glitch here. Um, however you like, you can come all the way up and just, you know, play like a psycho. This is good to kind of play back farther if you want to hold mid from farther back. So next we have kitchen. And kitchen, we can, we can make this play like every so often. I really, really love this play. If you guys don't do this, you should. So on defense, every once in a while, if you feel like you just crushed A as a defensive team, um, you can just walk down tube, place your crosshair over here. And basically, you're just kind of waiting um, to hear from here. And then you can, if you don't hear anything, like say you hear them B Audio. running, or your team calls A, then you could just come here and kind of just chill, wait for the rotates. Um, or you can even flank. And if you don't hear anyone, there's a good chance they might actually be in mid. So, and they might not expect you. So you can just peek this miss back. And yeah, and again, we can come from here. We can fast flank either yeah. to A, B or just come back to B and I'm gonna go and go B because this is what we're talking about um, so again I'm gonna talk about the most aggressive spots you can play so as jet you should be playing up here if, as jet or raise you put playing up here and also up here but I'm right now obviously so I'm not gonna talk about that as much right now so other aggressive spots we can play uh, we can come up here like this and kind of just wait for them to come up uh, and then we can continue to walk forward and this, if we can get to this spot, this is quite strong. Also, if we have balls, we can just walk up. Um, a lot of times there's going to be a Viper Runner team here, so you can just kind of walk up after the molly and just sit here like this. Just be careful for a peek from right here, because usually Viper Molly's right here. Um, so other than that, we have all the standard spots, this corner, this corner, 
Um, and so these are, I wouldn't suggest playing this corner very often, but for example, if you're on like an eco round and you want to use a shorty, you could sit here or here. I would almost suggest this one because this one's more common over here. Next, uh, this is one of my favorite spots. People don't really ever play this. <clears throat> so what you can do is just sit behind the box, kind of just listen. You're kind of just facing the box because you don't really want to, you don't really need to put your attention into one side. You're just listening. When people run out B, they don't walk, yeah. you know, they're going to run. So unless they're trying to do some crazy play, in which case unlucky. Um, and in which case you should just watch this side because if they're walking right here, they should not be watching, looking in this direction. So yeah, and then then the idea is that they're gonna be running up here. You can swing on one, kill like one or two, and then swing this side as well. So that's kind of how it works. Um, and you can also again play up here if you're jet or raise or whatever. Uh, this is also one of my favorite spots. People in higher ranks are definitely aware of this. This is kind of playing like close to the crate again, but now we're playing back yellow. And people will basically, they'll just come up, plant, um, forget to clear this, especially in like Immortal and below. People just forget that this is even a spot that exists until you play it once. People yeah. yellow, you do have to be careful of because if people run out yellow and then they come all the way over here to swing like snowman, um, you might want to kill the site first. You might want to kill this guy first. It's up to you. So this is why I love this spot. Um, other than that, we can come back to site. So, uh, this is a little bit more like if I'm rotating. So if I'm rotating, I'll come kitchen a lot and I'll just try to make it to here. So we can look like right here, right here and look over here, see if there's anyone below us. And then we can kind of just chill here. See if anyone wants to peek from yellow. Um, you're kind of just posted up here, helping to defend all of site. Yeah. This is what you should be doing. Um, otherwise we can play like down here, fight from middle site. This is kind of the same thing, though this is a little bit more expected, I feel like. Actually, I feel like this is all expected, just because, like, yeah. So be whenever you're retaking, be aware of up top, because that's, like, really common. Um, so, I think that's about it. Like, we can sit back yeah. here, behind this box. A lot of times this will get walled still, just because yeah. it's icebox, and Sage is really good on icebox. So, um, yeah, we can just break the wall from here. Um, yeah, that's about it for B, honestly. That's about it for this map. You can also fight, obviously, from snowman, but this is if you're just retaking. Snowman up there, if you guys didn't know, and penguins. Okay, so, yeah, we can just hold from here. This is mainly if you're rotating. Usually, you want to be playing closer up as a duelist, though, so... Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this. If you guys have any other guide suggestions, let me know. Um, and, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.